Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Let's look at the onion skin appearance. And we are seeing in terms of pathology, or rather onion skin appearance. So the first one being the primary sclerosing. Primary sclerosing. Cholangitis. And next, it also includes the onion skin fibrosis as well as the Castleman disease. Next is the Castleman disease. And Castleman disease includes onion skin appearance of the mantle zone lymphocytes. Then comes the systemic lupus erythematosus that includes the onion skin lesions in case of the spleen. Then comes the TTP. TTP is with onion skin appearance of the renal arteries as well as the arterioles. Next, we move on to the Evin sarcoma. In case of Evin sarcoma, there is a laminated periosteal reaction, there is a onion skin, and then there is a malignant hypertension. There is also the malignant hypertension is associated with the union, the onion uh, skin lesions as well as the hyperplastic arteriolysis. Then they have the Tay Sachs disease, it's a um, world arrangement of the onion skin or the cytoplasmic inclusions within the lysosomes of the ganglion cells under the light microscope. Then comes the Lyme's arthritis and this is the onion skin appearance of the arterial wall and then comes the CIP, CIDP, there's a chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy as well as the charcot mary Ruth disease. So this is nothing but the onion bulb formation of the prophylactic swan cells around the axon and this is due to the recurrent demyelination and the myelination, demyelination and the myelination. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.